Well, here we are again, and uh, out the back gate. And who have you got with you today, Michael? Well, let's turn this around. She's looking good, and he is mother. He is a mother. Ash. Now, what's going on with Ash? Well, she's in season at the moment, but uh, we're not doing uh, uh, now with her. The next season she comes into next year, we will take her to a. Uh, a good uh, thoroughbred uh, blue male who oh, we've been digging out. It's and he's uh, not too far away at uh, Udon, and so we'll take her there. And obviously, we won't be bloody leaving her. No, them days are gone. And if we have to take her daily, then we'll do such. And if she. Uh, comes under then all being well but no we're not in too big a hurry uh, we're enjoying the rest from all the uh, the puppies that last four litter we had uh, basically all in the same time oh was a bit too much wasn't it now here's little rain what are you doing? Come on then. There you are. Oh, mother doesn't want to miss out. No, come on then. Come on. So, yeah. Yeah, as I just previously mentioned, them four, uh, four litters oh, took it out of us. And of course, at the moment, uh, my health is not bloody brilliant. Mobility once again and uh, and men with a bloody pot pot arm well wrist so yeah by the time this gets said men should have that uh, pot arm off so yeah so still damp still overcast uh, I was wowling on about this, uh, all this rice crop here might fail, but no, I doubt it. I doubt it's well on the way. I did notice lo looking at the local weather forecast, a uh, few more days and it's uh, expected back to sun, back to 32 degrees. So that's going to bring all that uh, rice on. And uh, been a bit of rain overnight and uh, this morning. And uh, yeah, it looks as though that's gone up a bit. So hmm. I need to get back to it shortly, cutting a few of these bloody dead leaves off and uh, Getting the place tidied up a bit, but we'll get to that. Still a bit of water flowing through the creek. Uh, but I would think, give it a week or two, that'll have all bloody dried up and uh, we'll be going into bloody dry season. Uh, well, not yet for a few weeks. All that bloody rice has to... Uh, 
get itself sorted. See a few drops on the water there. Little bit of drizzle. Now, what are you two doing? Yeah, they're inseparable, these two. Mother and daughter. And happy, happy at it. And we're happy to help them. Now, over the other side here of the pond, I'm just gonna investigate someone shouting. There'll be something ready to wait that uh, they want to make us uh, known of. So, oh, what this? Oh, it's Noi, neighbour, Noi and Jack. And you're after this. Right, she wants some so. of this. So. Hey, what's all that noise for? It's only noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Chuck D. Aroy, Aroy. Yeah. Yeah, some water in there. This woman here, who's married to a little uh, fella, Jack, uh, this isn't their land, but what they do, they rent it and they grow rice in it. They're the main source of their bloody income. So, mm, so I don't know what... Uh, this is value too, obviously eating. So there you go, there you go. Now, as I previously mentioned, what we're gonna do with uh, Ash? Well, she'll be going to a stud on her next heat, which will be in 24 sometime. So them wanting blues, blue puppies, yeah, we will be surprising some uh, next year, but we want to make sure we're of good quality because there's a few problems with the blue genetically. And, uh, but Ash comes with a very high pedigree. She's of uh, good quality. So you have no fears there. And we've been investigating what's local. We don't want to go too far away. Uh, up to 100 kilometres, fair enough. And uh, it's sussing out their pedigrees and this, that and the other. You've got to be careful. Very, very careful. Uh, a lot of these breeders over here will tell you absolutely anything. It's, I've previously said time and time again, it's all about financial gain, not the welfare of the dogs. Yeah, why are they going for the blue? Because they're popular. They're popular in uh, Europe and that, but not many breeders will export. We are not doing it at the moment because we haven't got the uh, interest. Not until some pups come along. And it's not cheap. It has to be worth our while. Otherwise, it's just too much bloody arse on. And I think that's the main reason why Thai breeders don't do it. And plus, a lot of it's down to communication problems. Most of them don't speak English. And uh, you need that. So that's where we benefit. But, phew. Hard work. Hard work. Okay.